for the poet who told me that rats weren't ennoble enough creatures for a poem. Rattled. Because you are not the admired nightingale. Because you are not the noble doe. Because you are not the picturesque ermine, armadillo, or bat. Because they have been written and I don't know their song the way I know your scuttling between walls. The scent of your collapsed corpse rotting beneath floorboards. Your frantic squeals as you pull at your own fur from glue trap. Ripping fur from skin in an attempt to survive. Because in July of 97, you birthed a legion on 109th. Swore from behind the dumpsters, made our streets infamous for something other than crack. We nicknamed you Cat Killer, raced with you through open hydrants, squeaked like you when Siete blasted aluminum bat into your brethren's skull. The sound slapped down dominoes. You rang that summer rat. And even when they sent exterminators, half dead and on fire, you pushed on. Because even though you are an inelegant, simple, mammal bottom feeder, always fucking famished, little ugly thing who feasts on what crumbs fall from the corners of our mouths, you live uncuddled, uncoddled, can't be bought at Petco and fed to fat snakes because you are not the maze rat of labs. Pale, pretty-eyed, trained, you raise yourself, sharp fang, clawed, scarred, patched, dark, because of this, they should love you. But look at the beast, the poet tells me, the table is already full, and rat, you are not a right-worthy thing. Every time they say that, take your gutter, your dirt coat, filth this page, rat, scrape your underbelly against street concrete, you better squeak and raise the whole world, rat, let loose a plague of words, rat, and remind them that you, that I, we are worthy of every poem here. Oh, you too white to talk this nectar. You, tiger, so eager to get out. You, tiger, eat her whole universe to look like something danger done walk by. She's so Harlem.